love across the time is the kind of love that the Bible says that many waters cannot quench. Songs of Solomon 8, 7. I want us to read that. I'm building up. The Bible says, many waters, Songs of Solomon chapter 8, verse 7. The Bible says, many waters cannot quench love. You see, that word, many waters, is talking about many seasons, many challenges, many uprisings. I can tell you that in this 16 year journey, we have seen many challenges. We have seen many challenges. We have seen many reasons why we should not be together again. We have faced many battles. But yet the love is still standing. The Bible says many waters cannot quench that love. Neither can the floods drown it. I pray that God will help you to meet a partner like that. That you will have the same experience. You didn't say a good amen to that. I think your amen will be loud and clear. All right. He said, Many flood can't drown it. Flood will come. You remember, God was talking about a house that is built on the sand and a house that is built on the rock. Common factors, common denominators came to the two houses. The Bible says, The wind came, the rain came, the flood came. Common denominators. But one stood, the other one was eroded away. The one that stood, stood not because there were no challenges, not because there was no rain, not because there, is no, there, there, there was no wind, not because there was no flood, but because of what it was built on. Now listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. One of the greatest challenges today in relationships and marriages, especially the ones we have today, is what I call unrealistic expectations. You are expecting too much. So when you see a little challenge, you see the flood, you see a little misunderstanding, you are done. You see a little wind that blew, you are done. One of my daughters, <laughs> oh Jesus, there is nothing she didn't complain about. There is nothing. She will tell me, daddy, uh, please tell me daddy please please, please tell me I, I, you 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 taught us you taught us about relationship you taught about us about love uh, daddy please tell me can you imagine how can my husband come back from work and the first thing he will not the first thing uh, the, the first thing that he should do is it not to first of all hug me is, is that not the first thing and then give me a peg and and then when uh, i said even me i even me <laughs> i don't do that Say now, even me. Are you get what I'm saying? He said, I expect my husband to wake me up in the middle of the night and then talk to me and then talk to me, express to me how he loved. I said, Ah, unfortunately for her. The kind of job that the husband does is a kind of job that sometimes he could be out of the house for two days, run shift and like that. That wasn't the whole situation. One day I had to face her and tell her the truth. I said, your expectations are too much. I don't think there is any man under heaven that can meet these expectations. He should write me a love letter. He should send. I mean, in the midst of the challenges of this Nigeria. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying now? <laughs> when you are under AC and your head is still heated up and you are sweating. Because you are thinking about the school fee, you are thinking about the money for a bag of rice, you are thinking about this and this and this. My friend, you better wake up to reality. Oh, 
is it that we are not going to do all those things i'm just teaching you reality now yeah we should then many waters cannot quench love many flaws why because it was built on the rock the love that you are talking about the love you desire where is it built on what is it built is it built on just figment of imaginations like they said is it built on feelings and in fact you are going to see 